In the previous video, we talked about recovered stage and re resume stage. Now, in this video, we'll talk about block stage with recover and resume stage. The basic use of this block stage is multiple data items that we have created here, and we want to segregate this. We we want to you know put those in a in a different block in a different box you can take this block and you can put all the global variables in one block and for the local va variables local data items you can put in a different block so you can categorize that and you can put in a different box in the exception handling terms blocks give us a greater control to handle exceptions with the use of blocks you can apply multiple recovery logic on the same page here on the launch page what we did if there is an error in the attach stage then it will go recover resume and then launch this application but now what will happen if there is an error in the read connected issue then again it will go to the recover part and it will launch that now what you can do currently it will work fine if if it is throwing an error in the read attach connected in these stage then this is okay it will open this application now what will happen if there is an issue in this application in the launch application so in the last video i shown if i will change the file name or my the file name is deleted this application deleted so again it will throw this error so every time it will throw an error and it will run in the continuously mode right so what we can do now we need to use block and how can we use block block is not something we can drag and drop right if we'll take this block you can see here i'm just clicking on this and drag and dropping here but it is taking it is giving you a reader stage so if you want to use block stage you just need to go and click on this block and come to here come to this line and then just draw this line and automatically this block stage will be applied to your page i want to apply block stage here in the launch application so we need to take like this now click on pointer and then here we need to take one recover stage one block can have only one recover stage we are putting this launch application and recover into one block into one box it means if there is any problem in this box it will just go into the specific block it will not jump to the outside of this block so it will just go to the recover so what we are doing if there is any error in this it will go to this recover not this right and then what we'll do we'll directly take one exception because if file is not available or might be the file is deleted we cannot do anything this is business exception it means client will take care of this so one it, what we need to do double click on that and you can say and click ok now what will happen if this file is not available let me rename that now you'll see here let me refresh this run this recover part now it is trying to launch this one now what will happen it will not able to launch because the file is not available there with the specific name so it will go to the this recover not again this one but if it will not take this block stage it will again go to this recover again it will come here throw an error again it will come here so this it will run in the continuously in the same three stages now it will come to the recover and it will throw an error and this is file not available or renamed please check so by this way we can apply block stage here now if you are on the login page here and here also last time you saw that that on the recover resume and then login so what is happening here if there is any error on this part here on the timeout we are throwing an error right so in this scenario also it will come to the recover resume and then error so again it will throw an error so again it will come to the recover part so there is the issue here also 
so how can we fix this so in this scenario do not use here save this as you know that this is the login action page and this login action page we are calling on the process studio open this centrix data solutions now go to the launch and login first now here in the launch and login you know that we are getting one error if we are getting a one error in the object studio will be getting error here on this page also because it will pass from lower page like it means from the object studio to process studio page so it will throw an error here now what we can do there are multiple things here if there is an error in the launch page we can directly throw an error and we can log this error message on the main page but in the centrix data login page if there is no per, no error on this page only error in the login part what we can do we can retry up to two times three times so this is the retry mechanism i will tell you in the upcoming video so here what we can do if there is any error on this page we can take here one block and we can take here and then take one recover and then you can take a multi calc stage and then you can take here one resume stage and then you can end here now link with this recover with multi calc resume and then end now whatever error will be getting from this launch action it will catch that and then will store in this exception in the data item and then will resume and then end double click on this calculation and now here we have two expression one expression i am going to take for click on exception logic take here exception type click okay store in the exception type create this now take one more this is for exception detail so whatever exceptions will be getting here we are going to store in the exception detail create this and this is for exception details this is for exception details and this is exception types here now if i run this here let me reset this and go to the launch and login page and here you can see we are getting one error on the exception detail that file not available on or renamed please check and we have used resume here so that's why it didn't throw an error it is directly going to the go to orders menu so as file is not available it will throw an error so it means we have to apply exception handling on each and every pages here so you you can you know go to the orders menu again you can take one block stage basically always take one block stage if you are using only one stage on the that page then also you can take that block stage and then you can take recover and then you can throw an exception or you can take here that resume stage now this is the like concept of block stage now on the main page what we can do if all the exception is caught by your object studio and the this pages if anything left then that will be covered on the main page so how can you do that you can take one recover and this is your global exception handler this is recover and this is global recover you can put the name also here 
global recover and then resume and then in between you can take same thing I can just copy and paste here same thing you can do exception and this one. So, whenever there will be an one error on this page it will write here. Now, let me run this so that I can show you here. Okay, and you can see here there is your error because it is going to click on orders button because the first error we already have that is file not available. right? So, while launching this application if we are getting an error. So, currently what we are doing we are just storing this here. We are storing that exception on this page we are saying that file is not available or renamed and then we are going to the resume. But only storing is not enough you have to notify to the client. So, what we can do we can take one more step here we can take one page here this is for you can create here like handle exception. So, how you can handle exception you can manage here you can link this here. Now, what you can do in the handle exception page you can take the screenshot of that exception you can send an email with that exception to your client you can kill the process you can close all the applications. So, you can do multiple things here you can apply here if you want. So, here what will happen if there is any error captured here it will store the exception details and then you, you will go to the it will go to this this page take the screenshot send an email come to this page again launch and login resume and then close that right. So, by this way you can handle the exception here also. I am going to tell you some you know best practice of or like what you need to do what you do not need to do in the blocks if you are using. First only one recover stage you should use per block. It means if you are, you have taken here one block here. So, if you will take here let me just increase that here. We have only one block and we are covering both uh, stages here in the one block and we are taking one recover here. But if you will take one more recover here and you are going to take one more resume. So, this is not the best practice. Now, blocks should not overlap. So, this is the blocks first block we have used. Now, let us say you have one stage here and now if you are going to take one block here and if you are going to apply like this. So, this is also not best practice your blocks should not over overlap any other blocks here. If you want to apply you can just do like this and then you can take one more recover here right. Third practice is blocks should not be nested inside one another. It means if you have used here let me if you are going to take one more block here and you are going to cover all these things inside that. So, also this is not the best practice. Another, another things do not apply recover like this. If you will just take the recover in this block nothing will happen there is no use of that one there is no advantage of using this blocks this block will only work if you are going to cover those stages and then recover then only there will be advantage. Whenever you are drawing this block do not draw like this you, this line should not touch this block. So, always just increase this box size up to this one so that this stages and recover should be completely inside this blocks give a enough area so that all the items should be fit in the block right 
and then take like this okay so this is the good way to do this now in the next video we'll talk about how to re-throw an error